Welcome back to Magic TV for a very special review show special. I'm here with... Ryland. And the legend himself, the one and only Ninja Ringmaster, Matthew Garrett. How are you doing, Matthew? Thank you very much. I'm very well. How excited are we to have Matthew here? Very excited. This is, this is the first like, review show that we've ever done where we've actually had somebody here with us. I was excited to come in as well and meet both of you too. And this is Ryland's homework for today, isn't it? This is his it homework It kind of is, isn't it? And we, we, we bought, I said to Ry, didn't I? I said, we're going to Blackpool. You can have a look around the whole stands, everything at Blackpool, and I'll buy you anything that you want, you know, to say well done for yeah. the gala show and everything. Did you see Legacy? <laughs> Other than that. Um, and he, he genuinely, you said to me, didn't you? I want all of Matthew's range you want every because he does ninja rings and he saw your stuff and he was just like well, i don't get it it just makes no sense at all and and you were so kind to come up to the office all the way from north Asia. Yeah, yeah and and you and you and you and ryan and myself have just had a ring session how good was this ring session it was epic it was it was absolutely epic and we got this, i wanted to get this on camera because i wanted to talk about everything that Ninja Plus does, because there's, yeah, thank you very much. you've bought so much stuff out over the years, and I've seen some of it, and some of it on video, but seeing it in person, I mean, see, you've done Ninja Rings, just a standard linking rings for years, how much better is all of this? It's a lot better. It's so much better, isn't it? I mean, it's just incredible. I was pleased to see him having fun with it, and for me, that's what it's about. It's not just about one hoop joining together. It's about taking the routine different directions. Yeah. Um, and it really is. And you've got so many different sections. I mean, you could literally just make an entire act out of everything that you've got. We're probably going to have to explain to people exactly what they are. So um, Ninja Plus, we will show it's the item using the fingering. GIR is your normal four rings routine, but with also two extra rings that let you join solid rings together. Yeah, we'll get into that in a minute, but that blew your mind, didn't it? No, <laughs> just that moment, I love that I moment where magicians are watching it going, I know this one, I've got this one, and then they're solid and there and, are no gaps. And there's three linked rings that you hand out and then you take or them four. apart, all <laughs> four, and then you take them apart one by one and hand them out. It's just and he's been incredible. so quick learning it. Um, it's nice to be able to sort of sit, spend time and go through. Because on a dealer stand, I normally get people to learn a bit of the routine and you've just got the whole thing down and you've been doing this for what, maybe an hour now? And he's just such a quick learner and the whole routines, people say, how long is it gonna take to learn this? Well, an hour, it, I mean, yeah. it, he's a very quick learner, I will say that. But, but I mean, that's the point. Sometimes I've spoken to magicians that don't, that shy away from anything to do with rings because they think it's going to be really hard. But, but I mean, you're nine. Yeah, I mean, I know that I pick things up quickly, <laughs> but you're nine, nine and you've just done the whole, you know, you've got, you've got it all down. You need to... Not just to get it down. I liked the way in the fact he was inventing moves to do the GIR. He's inventing these shapes that I hadn't taught him. And he was just, they are actually on the DVD. And... Uh, yeah, I was very impressed with that. Very creative mind. Well, should we talk about this stuff? What do you yeah. reckon, Ryan? What should we talk about first? Ninja Plus. Is that... GIR. You want to talk about GIR yeah. first? Okay, GIR. So, to expand on what you said, every magician that's watching this knows, and this is a channel for magicians, the standard linking rings, the linking rings that Ryland has done for years, it uses is... a key ring yeah. with a gap in it, Absolutely. and you, know, you, you link them and unlink them. GIR, can you talk to us about this? Because this is a way of doing a ring routine where you can literally hand the rings out, and yeah. that's just insane. Absolutely. Yeah. So basically, um, you've got you've got um, three or four rings. It just depends on how you want to do it. You go one, two, three. Um, you put one ring there, two rings there. Go like this. No, you don't. No, no, you go no. So. Like, you got it. Start with a chain of two. So put this yeah, one. So like join your two. That. No. So what, do your count. So yeah. go one, two, three rings. You go one, two, three. And what you forgot is you now want to join two of the rings you together. You want to join two of the rings together. Yeah, you want to join the two. That's it? That's it. Now you're on you track. There we go. Them. That's it. You put that on there. Then you grab this ring. That goes through. There's no grabs at all. You can pass that. And you can hand that out at that point. Out. I always hand it out and I always say to people, make sure there's no gaps, make sure there's no breaks. There is no gaps at all. You guys aren't here, but that is incredible. Like, I'm looking at this. These are actually linked. And there's no gap. And there's no gap. 
yeah and then you can have a cool moment of well um you know you can pass it out straight away again yeah two people get to examine and it's and then you can do this exact same thing with go on show us rings. <laughs> sickeningly good nine years old <laughs> Sure get to so don't forget you've got to have the chain of two though so you're showing that, that yeah. you've joined two together first one two three four you grab that okay so this is the full routine grab that put that there you got it so now you've got this and you can grab these two you've got a shape you've got another shape and you can go <laughs> can you two, can you count them out? Can you show them? Uh... So now, yeah. Yeah. And now I can unlink very them. Good, very good. I can unlink them. So, so if you pick this one up. So it's the one, isn't it? First, yeah, pick that one that. up first. Yeah, and then the spoon. There. Well, there. Good. Grab that. Grab that. <laughs> that comes undone. One hour. One hour. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that is. I mean, obviously, there's a lot more on the on the download, right? Yeah. Because so it comes with a complete download, right? So let's go to exactly what's in the product. Yeah, there's a. You can. There's actually one with the gap, so you can actually do the old routine with, and then you can do the key, old routine key, key. and this. <laughs> Not a gap, a key. <laughs> so go on. What's what code, what, what, code words for magicians? Yeah. So in the GIR set, you get six rings in there. So you get the normal four rings. So that would be the key ring, the single, the, ch the chain of two. And you also get these special due to GIR rings that lets you do the things that Rai was just showing you just there. Um, I can show a simple routine. Could I'm you? not going to do what you did. Or should we start a, a simple uh, routine? Uh, 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 so uh, I know what you're like. Right, go on. <laughs> he's going to sit and he's going to do more links as we go along. <laughs> so we start nice and simple. Similar position to you were in right here. It's going to join round about there. Now from the front, it looks linked. But if I hold them side on... You can tell it's not. Right, you do me a favour. I'd like you to hold on to one of the hoops for me, please. This way you get... And hold it with the other hand, because I think the camera will see a little bit clearer. We get different experiences. Craig, you can see and hear it solid. Yes. And right, you can feel it solid as well. It does join straight the way through. Would you just check and just make sure there's no gaps, no breaks? Hold them up like this. I think it's interesting that you talked about simple. When I start with the routines, I want something that people can be performing the very next day. That to yeah. me is really important. I hate it, you know, magicians buy tricks, sits in the drawer and they don't use it. You've yeah. got to be using stuff straight away. Hold them up like this. So hold them like that. Stay still. I'm just going to go here. Hold it really tight because I don't want to knock the rings on the floor. There. Hold it up a bit higher for me. Let go. It'll hang. Yeah, that's it. It hangs. <laughs> All you've got to do is click your fingers for me. There we go, that's great. Oh my gosh. So if we take three there, we take one there, and now I do my own sound effects. Nice. It's straight the way through. Okay. One, nothing happens on one. Two, still nothing. It's that third time. Now I'm not going to join it near my hand, I'm going to join it out here in the open. I want you to see precisely where it passes through. One by one they come off. So there goes the first one, that'll be the second one. There's a third, and there's a fourth. So and that's that, combining that, the two. No, th this is this is not so far. This right. is just your normal. This is a, a normal four rings routine. Is yeah. what I've shown you. But I did use the special GIR gimmick in the routine. So those people that are watching, going, yeah, that's a normal close up rings routine. It was, but did you spot the gimmick? And that's the thing. No one's ever going to. Let me show you what I mean. So that we could do with normal rings. We could, we could do. So where we're up to now is everything's the same as normal. But, but the, now, because of the way you did it, you can actually have that there and then link it on. Yeah. Or we can do it like this. And that's gone through. So from here, everything is examinable. We can pass that out. They can examine the same as we did before. Whenever we like, we can take this and it can come off. And you can just check and just make sure that there's no gaps, no breaks. And this is now the GIR method. So that's how you can kind of combine the two. So if any, any spectators, if any magicians are worried that someone's gonna mm -hmm. say, I think there's a gap in it, you can just disprove them at any point that you And like. you do get that sometimes, like when you're doing rings, oh, I bet there's a gap in it. You can just take the key ring, put it away. Yeah. Uh, For me, uh, it's the game. I love yeah. the game of, uh, it's such an obvious method. Is there a gap, isn't there a gap? And I love that game and the play bit. I want, of course, I want the audience to care how it's yeah. done. 
And once you reel them in, and they can just see there's no gaps, there's no breaks, and whenever you like, you can just take the rings back and the rings. And they're just examinable at the beginning of the routine, at the middle, at the end. And that's the things that I want from ring routines. You can just join them at any point. So can I have a look at your glasses there, Craig? Can yes. What I was thinking was, if we just take these, so Craig's glasses, now we just go around there and that should just go straight the way through. And what we were doing with Ryland as well, we were looking around Craig's office and we were sitting thinking, what what objects are there that we could join? I've got footage Come of grab it. it. Grab it, grab okay. it, grab it, grab it, grab it. So this is what we came up with first of all. So hold it up. So it's going to be pretty hard. I was going to teach him how to do this. And before I got the chance, he sat there with the rings and he just did it. Yeah. And he's done this a couple of times in a learning I'm bit. I'm going to play the footage because I've got some footage of him. So I'll put that footage on. Yeah, he's been annoying me now, Craig. Um, I think we're going to set up a challenge. He's learning way too quickly. So this is your brown tape. Join that. Okay. Not a chance. <laughs> Show it to the camera. Show him what you've done. Let's see the display. Great. So I'm going to get a pair of scissors to cut that off. Are you going to take it off as well? I can take it off. No way. Go on. What? Very nice. Very nice. Well done. Whilst you're busy showing the footage of Roy, um, he did the whole GIR routine and that was done after, I'm going to say, 10 minutes. It really if was that. a short time. Yeah. We came in, he sat down and we took out GIR out the box and we were about 10 minutes in and the, he had put a routine together. So, shall we watch that one? Yeah, let's have well? a look at that. This is the uh, the GIR, GIR routine that Ryan put together after 10 minutes. I've got three hoops here. One two, three. Now if I just take um, ring number one, hit it against them two, they join. Now, if I take this, put it there. You can tell there's no <laughs> gaps. There are no gaps. No gaps. I take it. I love how he just does the shape straight away. <laughs> Take them off, take them off. Sure. <laughs> That's the first one. <laughs> Go on then. Take them apart. Okay. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> and it just shows how quick you can learn this i mean i know you're saying ryland picks things up fast and he does but he's nine and you know yeah, there's yeah. anybody who's an experienced magician oh now this is the fun of it as well so now you can take that basic routine and there are tons of stuff i had the pleasure of working i always think it's great if you work with other people in magic mm. um two norwegian magicians mm. mike hill who's working for his physical acting cards and manipulation mm. he's amazing and Brian Husset, who was a finalist on Norway's Got Talent, when he was about your age. He was a finalist in the talent competition when he was wow. your age. Uh, he's, I'm going to say, 19 now, that sort of age. And these guys are really good. And they've put together new moves that I would never have come up with. The counts that we were looking at, uh, Mike Hill was working on that. Incredible guys. And they came up with their own routines. And it's just wow. built the whole project. So you've just seen some of my moves. Yeah. And the count was from Mike Hill. On there, um, Brian Husset does loads of things with the globe shape, which mm. I haven't even shown you. I haven't shown you a lot of Mike stuff because I can't do all of it. <laughs> he does this really flourishy, like, it looks great. It looks amazing. You have to watch the trailers as well. Um, so, yeah, honestly, tons of stuff on here. You can, you can develop the routine. Wow. I mean, I genuinely, I'm not just saying this, I don't know why anybody who who's a close-up magician that does the rings currently isn't buying that because it, it it doesn't stop you from doing the routine that you're doing but it just expands on it in exactly. ways that you could never do with a normal i would never look back i would never not use the gi up because honestly why wouldn't i have that method available i can do the normal routine with it mm. and if i whenever i want to i can just do some extra moves that you couldn't otherwise. well what about you when how old were you when you started doing linking rings about four about four, <laughs> it probably was. And now you've learned GIR. Are you going to stop doing GIR, or are you going to put that into the set? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use GIR. Are you? Yeah. Your next residency. And then and ninja. And ninja, but oh right, okay. Yeah. Well, that was a nice transition, yeah. Ryan. <laughs> that was that was good. The other thing we looked at was ninja plus. Sure. Which, uh, uh, you released this many many years ago. 
So we're but, going back to 2008. But since then, you've expanded on it and come up with new ideas and new moves. Yeah. And I know other magicians come up with new moves and new routines. And, and I remember uh, competing in the IBM close-up competition about 10 years ago. And I nailed it. And then I thought, I'm going to win this. And then Matthew Limotte uh, yeah, yeah, came yeah. out and did that routine and killed me and won the whole thing. Matt Lamotte is amazing. He's on volume four. So on this, uh, again, like I talked about collaborations, working with other people. Um, I started off myself, volume one, and then given time, I come volume two. Volume three is always Shooter Gower. Who, if anyone doesn't know Shooter Gower, Legend. he's like the most technical gear. Have you, do you know Shooter Gower? You've I don't got think to you've seen his work. When we get back, Cultural Exchange DVDs, one and two, Shooter Gower and uh, Apollo Robbins. Anyway, he's on volume three, so he's talking about it in an interview and coming up with And volume four, Matt Lamotte yeah. comes on. Um, I've got performers around the world who perform this. Kato Kidman is a great performer to watch out for. Probably no one's heard of him. He's in England, that is. He's an amazing performer. Michael O'Brien performed this on Pen and Telefallus and did a fantastic job on that. You watched that, didn't you? <laughs> what did he do on Pen and Telefallus? <laughs> He linked a ring. He linked a ring on one of his heads. <laughs> do you want to do that to your dad? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about Why that. Why don't we play the footage right now? Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Okay. Let's do that then. I think I've got it now. You got what? And the part where they nicked it on the forehead on Penn and Teller. <laughs> no. 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 Yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. And how many times have you practiced this? Uh, zero. Okay. <laughs> that's awesome. That, that that footage of where I was genuinely concerned for my life, to be honest. Um, you 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 got that like should have harder. Hard. Yeah, you should have gone. You got that, but you, you your challenge now is to do it on your sister tonight. You get to practice on your sister. Killer. Yes. Um, Killer. But. <laughs> But like that was like five, that was like a couple of minutes practice. I mean, they, let's talk about Ninja Plus because I always thought that Ninja Plus was quite hard. No. But you, I mean, that was probably He's even less time anyway. than GIR. Well, he was less than ten minutes in. Yeah, and he had performed. You, you will see again it, it, the whole structure of it. Um, I, I think he's a very quick learner anyway. But no, the routine. When I'm at the stand, I teach people how to do this because again, it goes down to people have got to know that they can do it. Yeah. Can you use this? Are you going to use it in a close-up set? It's visual magic. It's simple to do. But do you know what? It ticks all of the boxes because the other mm. things that we haven't talked about is we, we do this surrounded. I can do this walk around. I can do this at a table. I can use spectator's hands. Mm. So all those sort of tick boxes for magicians, another one people often don't think about is being able to do it silent. If I'm working for international guests, mm. I don't need to say anything for any of this. If I've got blind people, I agree it doesn't, where I work doesn't happen very often, but they can feel this. They feel it in their hands separate. You link it and then they feel it attached. So it is an effect that works for blind people. Mm. So it really does tick surrounded, close up, that, walk yeah. around. It, it ticks all of the boxes. It really does. And it's so strong. I mean, adding a finger ring into the mix is just, is just, is just really, really good. Um, should we watch Ryland's routine of the whole yeah, Ninja Plus thing? Should we do? Uh, yeah, so let's have a look at the is. footage. Yeah. So this is after about eight minutes practice uh, with Matthew showing Ryland the concepts between what happens with Ninja Plus. This is this is where we were at. I've got a ring here. Um, I've got a little ring and a big ring. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and link them together, just like this. <laughs> what? <laughs> Now that's all I have to do to take it off. Now can you examine that for me? Yeah, I certainly can. <laughs> Makes me sick. <laughs> no. If I just um, take the ring. Very good. Can I check that? <laughs> yeah, there's no gaps, no breaks. <laughs> awesome so basically what you've got here is you've got a ring you've got like a hoop um on um uh, <laughs> i love it watching someone else do it actually that's great 
Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I've, I've just done something there that means I can go. And, and you can hand that out, out at that point, can't you? Which is ridiculous. That's great watching someone else do it. it really I like that. <laughs> and we're like, I'm wearing a matching ring. That's a part of it. It's just, I happen to be wearing the other one. Can you take it off? Yes. <laughs> I hope you're doing this in your residency next time. Because I think it's important, like I say, to be going out working it. So not just you mm. can do this, but you've got to use it straight away and you, you've got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but you, when you do it, obviously that's the basics that you can do with it that you've taught Rylan there. Sure. You can, you can go between two, two rings. You were showing us some stuff. I'll show you some stuff. of this if you want. Yeah, yeah if you yeah, could. Yeah. And I can great. show you some other stuff that you might not have even see me do. Yes, before. please. Um, That'd be great. Um, you can do it in your hands. So this is, we're doing that, or spectator's hands. So yeah, as you, you, had it as you can see, you can it's do it. Yes, yeah, exactly the same link. Exactly the same link that you're doing on the forehead. It's that, and they can feel it, and they can, you can so check, good. just feel with your fingers, make sure it's gone. And I'll, I'll show you here. Like that. Yeah. You've got two performances going on. No, 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 no. Let everyone focus yeah, on Matthew for now. <laughs> or, <laughs> I want people what, to see this. Pass me the ring that you've got there. I'll see if we can do this. You can take, you can take spectator's ring. You can borrow it. Oh, I know they're two designed, but this would be a borrowed ring. You can hold it alongside. And oh, then it goes through like that. So you can have two go through. You can take their ring off alongside. So there's a lot of other things that you can do if you're using borrowed rings as well. Um, the... There you go, that's the borrowed ring back again. Or I can make it jump to my finger. There's nothing on my finger. I'm going to do two things at once. I'm going to disconnect this and I'm going to place it on my finger. I've been told the quickness of the hand seems the eye. You haven't blinked once. Marks, set, gone. Okay. You know how that was done, right? <laughs> Trick finger, it's that one there, it goes both sides. <laughs> that one's not included the trick finger <laughs> uh, we'll take this a little stage further the, the thing i like about the routine it really is versatile because you can see that i'm kind of making it up as i go along i've got the structure it's, it's like jazzing with a pack of cards Absolutely. but with rings yeah 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 from here do the same thing I'm making. i love this oh i love this from yeah. one hoop straight the way through to the other one it's ridiculous. um this time you check it so you hold on so there we go make sure there's no gaps no breaks beautiful no gaps no breaks do you know what? If he takes it off, I'll be gutted. I wouldn't put it past him. I wouldn't put it past him. He'll be teaching me extra bits as well. And here. Now watch the centre. Oh, I, I think do, this is interesting. Oh, you taught me this. You yeah. taught me this. <laughs> yeah, he was learning all of the moves. <laughs> watch the centre right here. You see the change? Because the ring was up here. Now it moves down. And that just moves from one hoop straight the way through. The oh, my and I think moves like this, they look like they're going to be much harder than they are to do. It's I mean, you were doing that almost magic. straight away, weren't yeah. you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and they can, they can sell. So, yeah, it's just versatile. It's just a fun routine. I bet you you could have five people that do ninja rings and their routines would be completely different, yeah, even though they're using the same props. The instructions that you've got are sort so that within 10 minutes you can learn it, or maybe half an hour for most people, but 10 minutes for Ireland. Um, and then you've got ideas time, restaurant routines. I've got whole sections, not for his age, but with Roller with Fire or like Flash String. You like the Flash String? Not happening. Oh, we'll go down. <laughs> yeah, I'd say not for his age group. Um, but there's tons of material on that. I do some a lot of polos as well. You know, John Polo Mints? Oh, polos would be cool because you just, um, he loves Minted by Craig Squires. Yes. So you could take a couple of polos I out. I saw that recently. I saw that the other day. Yeah, actually. I yeah. could see it in Blackpool and I saw it just afterwards. Mm, yeah. It's very good. Yeah. That's a really good idea. Polos would look great. So with this stuff, you can perform. So Ninja Plus um, comes with the, the, the ring that's permanently joined. You've got your key uh, and the other ring to match. And you've got all of the DVD bits. So everything that we've shown with this is Ninja Plus. And then GIR can be is the four rings routine, plus the other two where you can do those impossible solid links. links. So you can combine the two routines. You can use one for walk around, one at the tables. So there really is a lot of playground with it. And I like that, that I mm. can just play with the items, move from one to the other as I see fit. Yeah. And it's, it's just really the variety. Because you don't want, let's be honest, you don't want a boring routine. Rings, no. I think, can be boring in the wrong hands. Yeah. Someone's just going to join one hoop to another, create a pretty shape that doesn't mean anything. And then it's just, yeah. the routine doesn't lead anywhere. No, it doesn't. So for me... It's got to go somewhere. It's mm. got to take them down a garden path so they don't know how it's done. Yeah, so from like, um, you can go from GIR to Ninja Plus to your standard Ninja rings. And then you can even do um, 
um, bar blade and ring them all. Yeah, we were looking bar at... Bar blade. Well, how, did you, how did you describe bar blade? You said it was sick. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so we've got a way of producing a bottle. Um, let's just look inside the box. We've got bar blade here. Should we do a quick? So this is by Tom Brooks, by the way. So he's a great Thank magician. You. Have you seen Tom Brooks work? Do you know who Tom Brooks is? I don't think you have. I've heard of him, but never actually seen him. He, yeah, he he does a lot. He used to work at a bar, and he was using this object here, bar blade. And look how it looks. It just goes straight there. But watch the length of it. It just goes straight down. Wow. And now you get his barrier. Uh, you can use that one. Hold, hold on to this hoop, but hold on to it. But yeah, that one in your hand's fine. Um, yep. Hold the big hoop it? then. It doesn't matter. Okay, hold it with both hands. That's fine. I want you to hold it because I don't want this to knock on the floor. I'm just going to knock it through here. Hold it still. One, two. And Look there, we've just got a fixed barrier right the way through. And that's what I love about bar blade. It, yeah, we, we, we can take this one off as well. There we go. We can take this off here. Bar blade provides another dimension. You've got that impossible barrier for rings to go through. So, yeah, great, great work by Tom, Tom Brooks there. And this is in a set with, this is another item, um, ring and bottle and bar blade. This yeah, ring and bottle he, is amazing. Yeah, he, he taught me it already. It's amazing. Yeah. It's so good. Yeah. Let's cut into a clip of the performance of ring and bottle and bar blade. Ryland, can you check that out for me? What I want you to really do is just make sure it's all solid. Yeah, it doesn't go through. It's glass. It looks pretty solid. And yep. check the bottle as well. Make sure there's no like, whole no, no holes or anything in the, in the base of the bottle. What you see is what you get. But that's fine. Let's leave this resting on the top. I'm going to try. If I leave this up, actually, so the camera can see too, I should be able to... Yeah, there it goes. <laughs> So Annoyingly good. solid, isn't it? Here's the interesting thing. Now, I'll get you to just hold your hand up flat like a little table. Just press down first so it doesn't go through, no? No? Okay, fine. And we're going to do this again. So just hold you like this. And then one, two. I love that. I absolutely love that. Give That's impossible. Give it a shake. Now, the reason it's not coming back out is because the ring is too big for the bottle. So you have a problem where it really won't come through. If you want to take it out, you can take it out the base. You just, with a tap, <laughs> comes back through. <laughs> and that is ring in bottle. It's Thank you. so good. <laughs> it's so good. It's... <laughs> You're using a different ring there. Um, that, I mean, how did you come up with this? Um, it was an idea I've been sitting off quite a long time. So this is done in conjunction with well, Tom Brooks and a bar blade and Michael O'Brien. Um, Michael came over from America and we've got props sitting here and we're playing around. We just hadn't finished off and we, we worked through the whole routine for it. And we've got a nice um, show reel of Michael and I doing a dueling routine. <laughs> so it's like we walk along and we like square up to each other and we do this dueling routine with the rings. <laughs> That's great. So, yeah. That's really cool. Maybe put a clip of that in? Yeah, Maybe. let's do it. Let's, let's do it. Let's have, well, let's have a look at that right now. Michael O'Brien versus Matthew Garrett.
Kelly. Um, talking about Michael O'Brien, um, he went on with your routines and, and, and his presentations and everything, and he, he did an incredible job on Penn & Teller. I mean, it was, it was amazing. amazing. How, how good was Michael on Penn & Teller? It was really good. I mean, Ryland was up till 3 o'clock in the morning on That's why you Sunday. loved the ring on the forehead, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I love his Irish style he brings to it. It's yeah. Right. Very strong performance, very strong It was really good, really good. Yeah, he did it proud. Um, and also on there, as well as doing Ninja Plus, he also, GIR was very quickly shown in the intro bit, if anyone's seen the clips, right at the very start, mm -hmm. before his Penn and Teller performance. You know, they do I'll the intro I'll put a link in bit. the description down sure. below to the Penn and Teller video. And he also performs the other effect, Fusion, which is a very slow melt of a ball onto the hoop as and, well. And that's impossible, isn't it? Because, uh, I mean, what we have here is a ring linking on or rings linking together or, or a bar blade linking on. But with the Fusion routine, so it's almost, it's melting a solid object onto there, isn't it? Because... Come on, right. So, for example, we've got this, like... I have no idea what he's going to show us. Tennis ball and it melts onto the middle of the ring. Yeah, come and sit down and show. So, so yeah, yeah, yeah. So you've got the ring. Let me just. So you've got the ring and the ball just melts down. So. Actually slide across. Do you need holes in the items? No, no, no I, I think know. that we'll, 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 we'll just beep what he just said there, <laughs> giving away the methods. Um, but yeah, that, that's what it looks like, isn't it? But it's not yeah. a tennis ball, it's a, it's like a, a little ball bearing. Do you know, I wanted, just... I wanted, I like to play with different ideas, and I wanted not just fast links, I wanted a really slow link. I wanted to be able to take a solid object so that you can pass completely solid through solid. Mm -hmm. and that's sort of where it came from. And Michael performs this so nicely on there as well. He's got this nice And what's confidence. nice is, is like the Ninja Plus, you can hand it out, can't you? Yeah. Once you've melted it on there, it's on there. They can examine it. If you're it. doing close-up rings, how can you do close-up rings and not pass them out? What's everyone going to think? If you don't hand the rings out, it's something fishy about what's going on, isn't there? It really has to, I think, for me, for a rings routine to work, they've got to believe that they've examined everything. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I bet he's loving it. Yeah, he's not going to stop playing this now. He's going to forget how to solve Rubik's Cube. He's going to be too busy doing <laughs> yeah, don't, it. Don't forget how to solve Rubik's Cube. <laughs> yeah. So the fusion thing is really great. And you, you can incorporate that into the whole the yeah. whole thing. So you'll see the way Michael does it on a Penn and Teller routine. He does go into Ninja Fusion and then into... Uh, sorry, Ninja Plus and then goes into Ninja Fusion. So you really get the choice of how you work these things. And that's mm. what I love about it. You, you mix and match. And quick question... Uh, all of these, they're available from your website, right? Absolutely. And, and you ship worldwide? Ship worldwide. And if somebody's want to, I mean, obviously, Ryland just got everything. If Good somebody's man. get it, which is, boom, the way to go. If, if somebody's wanting to, like, start working with your products and with the rings, what would you suggest? Go, go for everything? Is there a special offer deal on there? Or would you suggest, like, starting with something? Or what, what, what's, what's the plan? So, so, first of all, if you're just going to go for one item... Um, either go for GIR if you like the idea of doing the, the normal rings routines and passing out for examination or if you like the idea of the finger ring bit go for Ninja Plus so choose one or the other I think it, I just created a new move come on let's have a look at the new move it's looking pretty good I have covered that one but he's getting it. And this is the fun. You see, you see people like, right, he will, of course, he's going to come up with new moves in it. And there's so many moves to discover with it. And I think that's it's the thing. It's fun and it's the playing with the items. And, and that's the thing. Sometimes magicians take things too seriously and they yeah. don't have fun practicing. I mean, you, you enjoyed the idea of linking on the electric cord, didn't you? Um, it, it was safe, an uh, electric wire. So no, we've got some soft lights back there for the studio and it's just like, boom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I might have made that sound dangerous then. No! <laughs> <laughs> but like I link the glasses or you link the brown tape, it's just finding any objects that you've got around and, and linking them on and yeah. you, you have fun with it. Um, yeah, I do package deals. So if you get the two items here, Ninja Plus and GI is a great combination. It's package deal two on the website. Or you can do Ninja Plus and Fusion, which I'm going to say is package deal three. But you'll see it on the website. That's what Michael O'Brien performed in the Ninja Plus Ballers. So listen, I think the choice, everyone's seen the items. Mm. You choose what, what works for you. Yeah. You know Ninja Plus? Mm. You know the thing that you put behind you? What? Quick quick question. So what's uh, I'm gonna put the website down below. It's yep, um Ninja Plus 
Ginchplus.co.uk. Ginchplus.co.uk. Or you can go to my, you can order it from my own site, professionalmagic.com. So take okay. a pick. Fine and it's, uh, it, I have to ask you, surely, Matthew, and I've mentioned this to you before, you've now run out of ideas with the rings, right? I've got more ideas. In fact, I don't know, I, I need someone to work on a project with me. We might be good at some sleight of hands. Um, I don't really want to give. I don't really want to give any more away. But you got any ideas? I don't know. What do you reckon? Me? You reckon I could pull that off? We could have something. Yeah. Something in the works. Then. <laughs> <laughs> I um yeah. I had a sneak peek of what uh, Matthew's coming up with next, and uh, honestly, I think that's the most exciting I thing. I think you're going to be the man to work on it as well. Mm. I actually tried it. I think it's I think I it's incredibly it. exciting what you've got in the works and yeah I, I want to get involved in that because I love it's the rings. It's just some of, all the time I'm just thinking about different ideas it's, it's 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 what you enjoy isn't it Well you know we strive in magic in in the magic community to to have a legacy that we leave behind and and, and honestly I think in a hundred years time people will still remember I hope so. I hope everything that you you have changed the game when it comes to close-up ninja nin, uh, close-up linking ring style routines there's nobody else in the world that's done as much as you have for this for this oh, one genre you. it's true it's just it's true. yeah it is isn't it it's true. Uh, it's, I'm it's loving watching him do the moves he's getting them down this year yeah that's after just a little bit of practice so ryan we need to give this uh, as a percentage as a whole for all of this stuff i'll start i'm giving this a thousand percent <laughs> Infinity squared. Infinity squared. Is that even a percentage? Pretty good mark. Infinity I think the... squared, squared, squared. Infinity squared, squared, squared. <laughs> I've never had a mark as high as that before. <laughs> Is that the, the best mark you've ever had on a review show? Infinity squared, squared, squared from Ryland. That would be interesting to put in the graphic at the bottom of the screen, wouldn't it? Infinity squared, squared, squared. Infinity times infinity times infinity times infinity. I, I, there you go. <laughs> I'll take that. Infinity I'll times that. infinity times infinity times infinity. And uh, that's even better than our Kazam products. Might be. Might be. There you go. Peter will be mad at you. And uh, and uh, a thousand a thousand percent for me. This is incredible. And, and what's nice about it is, if you're a worker, you absolutely need to get this. Uh -huh. If you're, uh, I, was, I was trying to get it out of the mind. But also, if you're an amateur or a hobbyist, or you just you know you're just learning magic. It's fun. I mean, you can see the fun. I think it's great actually for people just to see the fun Ryland's having with it. And it takes me back to when I did this. I just used to play with it. I, yeah. I loved it. It's it's a great item. You know, some items feel like fun to practice in your hand. Yeah. And that's nothing to do with my ideas. It's just the way the product worked. It yeah. just feels fun. And it does. He's going to come up with tons of stuff from that. Yeah. I, I think we need to do some. Oh yes, rolling he's, links are hard. he's got it. Holy he's got the mackerel! Rolling, got the rolling link. <laughs> I like him and I hate him at the same time for that. That was so good, wasn't it? You have to understand that just before we started filming, I was telling him. He was saying this is this is actually really hard. I did, yeah, yeah, it's absolutely. the hardest, yeah, yeah. one of the hardest moves on the project. You're not really going to be able to Don't do, do it. it. No, you ruin, you ruin it. Now. I can't believe you did that. That's, amazing. That's great. Right, we need to wrap this up. So I'm going to wrap it up now. Guys, uh, it's been an absolute pleasure. Now, can I just say what a pleasure it is to come across and see both of you two as well. You're an incredibly fast learner. And honestly, to have a dad like that who's so experienced in magic to take, teach you along and a fast learner, what a great combination. Boom. There you go. <laughs> With a ring on. <laughs> With a ring on. Um, thanks so much for coming in. No, Seriously, thanks so much. And honestly, this is super fun to practice. And you guys need to head over uh, to Matthew's website and buy absolutely everything and keep an eye on the socials because the best is yet to come trust me I've had a sneak peek and the best is yet to come so um, the well has not run dry by any stretch of the imagination I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I, just, I know you're finishing up yeah? you can choose a colour as well you can get silver rings I'm throwing too many choices oh, this now. Is good. silver rings or they can have gold rings or there's nice chrome black it's like a gun metal so people have got their choice of colours as well I've always uh, you have a black set of rings don't you I don't yeah. like them as much because if you're wearing black they're not as it's visual the, you're talking about the dark black so okay I've got another colour as well I don't do GIR in the very dark black I've got very dark black for the other set you'll see what's on the website mm -hmm. chrome black is like a shiny it's like a gun metal oh that, that that'll be okay yeah, yeah. gold is um shoot to go we used to put out the gold rings with wizards in many yeah, years ago yeah, yeah yeah so i've got the gold rings uh they're popular and, and the silver as well i think the silver what do you prefer silver's best yeah i think the silver's the best absolutely and it's a nice contrast to the rings as well and i, I have to say i remember seeing ninja plus like about 10 years ago the rings are so much better quality now i wanted to go off in the first place uh, it was trying to come in and thinking how am I going to get this made? 
And over the years, you've got to bear in mind how many years I've done this. Mm -hmm. I, the techniques, the qualities just picked up all the way through. Yeah. I've realised the correct weight for the rings, the correct size for the rings. So it's just, as I've been learning, I've been able to provide the best product to people that I can. <laughs> it's amazing. It really is. This is the sort of ring, you know, sometimes you get tricks with rings and it doesn't look like a ring that you'd wear. This looks like a ring that you'd actually wear. That's why I went for these. So the material on here is tungsten carbide, so it's not going to chip, it's not going to scratch, it's not going to dent. Um, you don't see any welds. When I hand out the rings, for me, it represents me. And whatever people say, if you hand out a ring that's got a mark on it, people are going to look at that mark and tell you. And I've had, you have people say, I've done it with cheap sets of rings. People go, yeah, I found it. And I just don't, I, you want the nice rings to be able to hand out. And I just, uh, uh, that's what I've gone for, the best quality. You're just going to be there constantly practicing this until you can do it every time, aren't you? I can tell. <laughs> the rings are great quality. I figured out a sort of way to do it. I, I, what you mean? That was very good. That was very good. Well done. And with that, and with that in mind, we're just going to let Ryland play now for the next half an hour. Uh, Matthew, <laughs> one more time. Thank you very much. Thank you. Absolute pleasure. Infinity squared plus squared plus what was it again? Infinity, Infinity squared squared squared. Infinity Square to go of Kid Magician. Do I get a high and five as well, right? We get a high five. Thousand percent off me. Go buy everything Matthew's done. Thank you very much for joining us once again here on uh, Magic TV. Uh, make sure you go follow uh, uh, Matthew on all of his socials. And I'll be back again with Ryland again with another review show very, very soon. Thanks very much for watching. I'm Craig. I'm Ryland. I'm Matthew. We'll see you again. Bye, Ron. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.